Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Young hedgehog crumbled along through the leaves and the green stuff in the wood, looking for something nice to eat. The sun was shining and the birds were singing, and when young hedgehog got to the edge of the wood, he felt like going further. He'd never been outside of the wood before, but today was different. He put his little nose in the air and sniffed. There was a very strange sort of smell coming from one way. I wonder what it is, young hedgehog said to himself. It was a nice, exciting smell, so he trotted towards it. He went on and on, over the daisy fields, round the mole hills, and alongside the farmer's pond, where the little yellow ducks were splodging about. Young hedgehog stopped and sniffed again. The strange smell was stronger than ever, so he trotted on until he came to the big gate. He squeezed underneath it, and then stopped and looked around, for here was where the smell was. Young Hedgehog was in a farmyard, and the smell was the smell of cows and horses and pigs and ducks. Outside the farmhouse door was a dish of milk put there for the cat. Young Hedgehog trotted up to the milk, smelled it, then began to lap it up. He'd never tasted milk before. This is good, he thought as he drank. This is very good. I do like this. I've never found any of this nice white stuff in the wood. I think I'll stay here. Just then, along came the farm cat. Very slowly, wondering what this strange prickly creature was who was drinking her milk. She walked right round the hedgehog, looking at it. At last, young hedgehog finished lapping up the milk, and looking up, he saw the cat. Can't you read? Yes, the cat. Look, on the side of the dish, it says cat. 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 That's me. Oh, said young hedgehog. I'm sorry. I thought it belonged to anybody. Like the rain puddles in the wood. Everything belongs to somebody here, the cat said. See that big bone over there? That belongs to Blackie, the farm dog. See that big wooden shed? That belongs to the cows. See that pile of hay? That belongs to the farm horse. See that dish of wet bread over there? That belongs to the chickens. So watch you don't pick anything up that doesn't belong to you. Oh, dear, grunted young hedgehog as he trotted away. I wonder if I can find something that doesn't belong to somebody. He hadn't gone very far when he came to a big round thing. He pushed at it with his nose, and it rolled along. Oh, oh this is fun, cried young hedgehog. But just then, along strutted a red-faced turkey cock. Gobble, 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 he gurgled. Leave that boar alone. It belongs to the farmer's little boy. Gobble, 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 gobble. Oh, for goodness sake, cried young hedgehog. Everything belongs to somebody here. That's what I told you, hissed the cat. We work for everything, you know, <laughs> growled Blackie the farm dog. I look after the farmer's sheep. And I pull the farmer's cart. <sniffs> Noted the horse. And I get the farmer's mm -hmm. Moved the cow. And we lay eggs for the farmer. Bark, 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 bark. Squawk the chicken. And I keep away the rats from the farmer's corn. Yeah. Moved the cat. You don't do anything. They all cried to the hedgehog. So go back where you came from. That's a very good idea, said young hedgehog. So he squeezed under the gate and went back alongside the farmer's pond, round by the molehills and over the daisy field till he came to the wood. 
And there he made his way back home to the water puddle in the roots of the elm tree and drank as much as he wanted. He wasn't the only one. So there was a rabbit taking a drink and a squirrel and a little bird was splashing about in the water. And nobody said, leave that water alone. It belongs to somebody else. Young hedgehog trotted off and found some lovely, juicy plants to eat. And there was plenty for everybody, and it was all free. This is the nicest place to live, said young hedgehog to a little mouse who was passing by. I'm going to stay here. and heard a hedgehog lapping up bread and milk. They like beetles, too. And slugs. And worms. Did you know that? And they crunch up snails. You crunched up snails for dinner. Yuck. Would you like to make a little hedgehog of your own? All you need is some plasticine and lots of old used matchsticks. Make sure they are old used matchsticks. Half month or something. You roll the plasticine into a shape like an egg. Stick the matchsticks all over its back from the bristles. Give it two little beads for its eyes and a shiny black button for its nose. Think of a name for him. Then put him down amongst your other farm animals. 